That's the host of the show, Homemade Simple, airing Saturdays at 9 a.m. on the OWN Network. You know when you're on the OWN Network, you must be anointed. You can't just get on that, on that network unless no. you're bringing something else to the table. And definitely this woman is bringing so much to the table that the OWN Network should be happy to have her. Her name, the legacy in her name, uh, to me, is synonymous with power, with community, uh, with leadership, with sacrifice, uh, with triumph. Um, her her walk on this planet, some of the things she's done, whether uh, she's dancing on popular TV shows or or she's an undefeated boxer to what, 24 wins, 21 knockouts, right? Yes. And yes. three decisions. Sheesh. Never lost in the ring. Uh, she's somebody that people like, uh, who told me this? Hulk Hogan came on our, our on our show and talked about some empowering words that she gave him. We could get into that a little bit later that uh, really helped him and throughout his life. But she's here today. I've always been a fan. I said this to her sister that her father, the first book report I ever did uh, was about her father um, after I saw the movie The Greatest. And I thought when every other kid thought they were Bruce Lee, <laughs> I thought I was Muhammad Ali. Um, and she's here with us today, the one and only Layla Ali. Are you Whoa. kidding me? I'm ready to retire. Hi. I'm good. I'm good, Layla. What an introduction. Thank you so much. Could have went on and on. I know you got a hard out, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, where do we start? Let's start with the show. Yes. Okay? Let's start with the show. Homemade Simple. I watch you online a lot. You know, you're really, to me, you seem like an amazing mom, um, a loving uh, wife. I would probably have to talk to your husband. Uh <laughs> Uh, but I didn't realize how fantastic of a homekeeper, a homemaker you are. You were always that? You know what? I take a lot of pride in being a mom, being a wife, mm -hmm. being a homemaker. I love to cook. I love to take care of the house. Mm -hmm. And having the opportunity to do Homemade Simple has been amazing for me because the show has been on for many years. It's in its ninth season. Mm -hmm. It's my third season. Um, but to have the opportunity to work with these families around L.A. that are so high, Hi. so um, <laughs> deserving, um, you know, they really put a smile on my face, the things that they're doing in their community and then come in and beautify their homes. Because we all know about it. Well, we don't maybe we don't all know, but energy and having a, a home, you yes. know, coming yes. home, your home is where the heart is, as that saying came from. And, you know, to go in the home and then cook with these families, teach them how to prepare healthier meals from their, for their family with mm -hmm. with my cookbook, Food for Life. So, you know, it's just it's just. It's just fun to be able to love what you do. Absolutely. So, yeah, for sure. I agree. That's and then it's just a transition for me because, you know, I also want to take somebody's head off sometimes. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Knock somebody out. You but still dealing with the head? Soft side. <laughs> just a little. Well, you always deal with that <laughs> anger that's in there. I'm ready. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, I always wondered that because even when you left box, not left boxing, but when you retired, I was like, yo, she has so many fights in her. What is she going to do in that with that energy? Right. That that because it's a to be a boxer. It's an energy, <laughs> right? Yes. And that's what I meant when I said it's always there. But you just put it into other things. Uh -huh. You know, you definitely have to put it into other things. You know, um, I need more energy now. I have children. Okay. You know, and being a parent is the most challenging thing that I've ever done. Um, it's also one of the most rewarding. Being a wife, you know, balancing being an entrepreneur, doing the all of the things that I do. Um, but yeah, I still train. I still work out because as an athlete, you know, you have that fire in you. You do have to get. You do have to get it out. So I find ways. You still train? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, what are you talking about? No, I don't train for boxing. boxing. No, I have okay. a heavy bag. I do okay. have a heavy okay. bag every right. once in a while. I'll be like, oh, I think I want to go spar every once in a every few years. Uh -huh. um, but, yeah, you have to be careful because it's a dangerous sport and you can get hurt. And you're sparring with men. I spar with men. So it's like, you know, you, you just don't want to, you know, Just jump hurt. in? Not, not anymore, for what? Uh, you know, I'm uh -huh. not doing it professionally anymore. So you just have to be careful. There's know? always that risk um, of getting hurt. Uh, are you watching uh, women's boxing today oh yeah you like I clarissa i do i like yeah. i think that um she's a talented fighter mm -hmm. and she has the opportunity right now the stage is set you know so now she just has to kind of do her thing i think that the thing about women's boxing is is that you know there's so much talent out there but everybody doesn't have the platform mm -hmm. you know um you got katie taylor who is yeah. my fave mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. talented you know girl um she's getting some pub you know and then but just having women's boxing in the olympics mm -hmm. gave it such a platform and that's what where clarissa started and um, you know, I think that, we you know, the problem I had when I was fighting is just that being in there with an opponent who's really going to make a fight. Yeah. It, so it, that's 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 what makes it tough because people want to see 
I remember when I saw Chrissy Martin fighting uh-huh. for the first time. I didn't know who she was, but I saw I was turned on the, the the TV to watch Mike Tyson fight. Yeah. And she was on the undercard, which is amazing. It's great to be on the co-main event, but guess what? You're not gonna have that many people tuning in. Mm-hmm. Right? So you actually have more viewers and more power being on Mike Tyson's undercard. Mm-hmm. That's why what Christy had, right? So I saw them fight and they got bloody and they were brawling and it was just like <sighs> The excitement. So people want to see that back and forth. It's like men's boxing. Oh, yeah. I was like, I want to do that. therapy, yo. I do. I need it. I was like, I want to do that. Why, <laughs> golly? How did I not know women box? So I got it. I've been street fighting for free all these years. <laughs> what? So, yeah, I um I saw it. and then But that's what made it great. Like, the back and forth. Uh-huh. And see, for me, like, I remember I fought at Madison Square Garden. And I had to fight this girl. I was like, this is going to be an easy fight. But the girl I wanted to fight wouldn't fight me wouldn't get in the ring mm. and i was like this is ridiculous i wasn't even hyped i was yeah. like it took me like two rounds just to be like you know she hit me one time i was like wait a minute now, <laughs> that, 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 yeah fight. like you tripping like yeah, yeah get yeah. it together and i stopped her you know but like i said <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know she said yeah well I, um, when i decide it. to is right. when it happens when, yeah <laughs> but, damn and, it. and it's interesting we're here to talk about homemade simple airing saturdays 9 a.m <laughs> on the like, own network the <laughs> okay it's an incredible show i'm trying to get layla and homemade simple to come in my home and maybe do something for free. If you move to L.A., because we only shoot in oh, the L.A. Only area. shoot in L.A.? Yes. Well, I got a home in L.A. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't said nothing, Layla. Um, I had Clarissa here, right? And, and jokingly, I, uh, we were talking. Up because Here's the thing. Layla, for people tried to give you a lot of criticism because of your opponents. Oh, she's not fighting anybody. The competition isn't. I remember those days you would get some of that. Of course. Same way Floyd Mayweather. Everybody. We'll get it because he was undefeated, mm-hmm. but I think you were above the talent pool is um, obviously what it was. Mm. Well, the thing is, is that we all um, in every it, men's and women's boxing, you're going to f- face some people that especially on your way up. Right. You know, you, you want to learn. It's a business. So, of course, with all these opportunities I had as Muhammad Ali's daughter, first mm-hmm. of all, I got into the ring with not an amateur fight, not yeah. one. You, yeah. So I did my learning in the ring under the lights. I was off TV, but I had 80 different media outlets there ready to report. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I got into the ring with someone who was 0 and 1. So she had one more fight than me. She lost it, but I was ready for war. I got in there, knocked the girl out in 54 seconds, and I was upset. I was like, Ugh. Well, I trained all this time, but my handler's like, what is she going to do when those lights are on, when mm-hmm. everybody's watching? So you got to move someone along the right way. And then eventually, you know, of course, all the girls were calling me out. All the girls were world champions. I was like, I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you when the time is right. And I did. And then it made it look easy. It made it look easy. But they had all more experience than me. And the thing is, is that, you know, even with Floyd, because he's so amazing, he gets in there with someone and makes it look easy. That's just how it is sometimes. But you you have to fight some people that, you know, we, we call them bums in boxing. Mm-hmm. Everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to fight some people. And then in women's boxing, you might have someone, like in Clarissa's case, she's got 80 amateur fights. You're uh-huh. fighting someone that might be 20 and 0, but they don't have any amateur fights. And then it's just like, they might be a champion, but then it's like, how are you? Then the person looks like they don't even know how to fight. Uh-huh. Like, wow, how is this a champion? So it doesn't really make women's boxing look good. So that's, mm. the, that's what we face. Did you almost fight Ann Wolf? Did you guys almost come close? We did, um, and it never happened. And that's the whole the whole story is I wouldn't fight her. But uh-huh. actually, if, you, if someone really wanted do their research uh-huh they will see that in the beginning it was we're gonna fight when the time is right then she actually was put on my undercard by my ex-husband uh-huh who was my promoter at the time to fight valerie my food who had knocked her out prior her only knockout loss who i beat twice like easily uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it was like you guys gonna have a rematch on the undercard of Leila lee christy martin because we're gonna promote our fight we were supposed to fight next uh-huh. why would i promote this girl put her on my undercard if I wasn't going to fight her for the whole world to see and want to fight her. She pulled out and wouldn't fight. Mm. And then it's always Layla won't fight. Layla won't fight. Layla won't Why fight. That's not the out? case. Because she said it wasn't enough money or whatever the case. Look, I don't care how much you pay me. If I'm the best uh-huh. and I feel like I can win, and she has said years before, I'll fight her for a hamburger. I'll fight her for whatever. You get in there and you whoop me for the bragging rights. Then you get the fame and the money afterwards. First of all, there wasn't a lot of money for either of us. Not, not in women's They make boxing. that excuse yeah. all the time. Yeah. I don't want to hear the excuse. You've been calling me out. You keep saying it's me. And then she said it on an ESPN interview at one point. It wasn't enough money. She said it out of her mouth. But the fans and folks who don't know any better always want to make it as about me. But it was her that would not fight me. I'm the one that's undefeated. I'm the one who's never 
ever gotten whooped, <laughs> beat, even looked like I was about to get beat. Yeah. Valerie, my food knocked her out, which I'm telling you is nowhere near as strong as me. And there was a girl named Vienna Williams. Go look that fight up. Uh-huh. Smaller, lighter weight. Beat that butt. Mm-hmm. And they gave Ann Wolf the fight. So like I'm saying, she knows she'd rather go down in history as a woman who I wouldn't fight than actually get in there with me. Because the thing is, is they judge me by my looks. And mm-hmm. when they see that dog, she won't even look me in the eyes, way. To this day? She won't even. I'm telling you, I, I haven't seen like, her. But I'm talking about back then. I yeah. had to say, how you doing? I can't wait till we fight. She's just like, yes, ma'am. She said, yes, ma'am to me. Oh, and wow. I was like, what is this? Like, <laughs> I've, I've, call, I've tried calling her. Yeah. Like, I tried, can you get her on the phone with me? Because I'm going to tell her, stop running her mouth. Or I'm going to come out there to Texas and find you. Mm-hmm. And then we can get in the ring and we can spar and we can show. Because I'm that kind of person. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, lo- I try to help people as much as I can. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, I am, when it comes down to um, character and integrity, I'm not afraid of anybody, period. You got that for I that Clarissa is. sparring. When I talked Did to you? her, yeah. She she reached out to me when she first won the Olympics, and we talked, and I gave her some advice. And I said, hey, you ever want to spar? And she's like, you want to spar me? I said, Clar- calm down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> calm down, young buck. <laughs> I said, look, calm down. I'm saying to work. I said, I'm not in shape. I said, yeah. but I can go four rounds at any time. Uh-huh. It never happened. She didn't take me up on the opportunity, but I offered it to her because I would have jumped at that opportunity if it was me. Yeah. Well, she came by the show just before uh, she became three division uh, world champion. Mm-hmm. And, and jokingly, we were talking about women's boxing and I'm a big fan of yours. And, and she was talking about the folks that she's prepared to fight. Y'all sound similar, similar energy. And I asked her, who does she think will win? And you against you in your prime and her now. And this is what she said. On the back of her sweatsuit, Heather, oh. what does that say? Lord. Quote. Quote. And that stands for? Greatest woman of all time. There Greatest woman of all time. Wow. Belt game. Well, you know Layla Ali, though. Come on, You got to start it, right? Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it to Layla. Come on, don't. Listen, I like that's Layla, my, though. Girl, but you talking about she's not cut do like me. She Layla. don't take the challenges. Like, she didn't fight against Ann Wolf. I fight against the best and beat the best. And if Layla Ali was to come out of retirement, I beat her too. Well, to wow. stop that, come on. That's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. just saying, okay, okay. Layla saying. did bring a lot of attention to female boxing, though. You know, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, without her, it would never got started. <laughs> Just enough. Layla about to leave the interview, go straight to the gym. <laughs> take the ring off. No. No. That's not anything I haven't heard before. First okay. of all, she's supposed to feel like she's the greatest. Absolutely. But just because you think you are doesn't mean you are. Okay. But I will say this. Um, we I like to support and uplift people. And mm. I think that on your way up, just do your best not to disparage those that have come before you. Um you know, there's this going, and I told her when we talked, because she said something about what Ann Wolf said, and I said, this is the case. Just don't don't bring up things that you don't know about. You don't yeah. have to try to dim my light, which mm-hmm. you're not able to do, mm. just to try to make your shine higher. You mm-hmm. know, my lane is closed. Go start your own lane. You know, mm-hmm. you want to call yourself the quote? That's fine. It's flattering. I, you look up to my father. We both thought that was cute. Mm-hmm. That was sweet, you know. But at the same time, you know, she first of all, she could never beat me. Okay. Let me just get that really straight you right now. You want to get that straight, Layla? Let's get that straight right now. <laughs> okay. We're not even in the same weight class. I know that she walked around heavier, but that would not happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and and not simply because she's not strong enough, Okay, because I would definitely knock her out, mm. um, but because she's not talented enough to beat me. Mm. You're talented. You can box. You can... <laughs> Oh shit, look how rich. You can throw those <laughs> hard, hard punches, but there's a sweet science to boxing. The reason why you have not been able to knock out the opponents that you've already faced, I can totally see it. Why? Uh-huh. But maybe if you would have been a little more respectful, and I'm not talking about thinking you can beat me and call you, that, do all that. I'm talking about just trying to, she didn't do this, she didn't do that. Yeah. I don't respect her as a boxer. I only respect her as a, a businesswoman. I've heard her say that before, which to me, that was when I, because I mean, I, I commentated her in the Olympics. You know, I, mm-hmm. I, I, when I was on my show, my CBS show, Women, um, you know, We Need to Talk, I said, let's do a story on Clarissa. I flew to Colorado. I sat there. I interviewed her. I posted about her on my page. She mm-hmm. would text me before her fights. She would ask me advice. I was always there for her because she's a young black girl from Flint, Michigan. Yeah, Flint. And I want to help uplift her because that's the Ali way. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's the that's the cloth that I'm cut from. Mm-hmm. 
I am successful in so many areas outside of boxing. Boxing is not what defines me. Yeah. So I'm not like, oh my God, there's a girl coming. There's always going to be another girl. Mm-hmm. But I tell you what, when I offered her to spar me, that definitely was a, a, a check right there to see. Let me see what kind of heart she has. Uh-huh. Mm. Because you should come whoop me just for bragging rights. Uh-huh. If Muhammad Ali offered a young upcoming fighter to spar, you'd be like, yes. I'm jumping in that ring. For sure. But I know we that conversation changed, and she didn't take me up on that offer. I said, okay. So mm-hmm. my thing is, I get it. You know, you can say what you want to say, because I am retired. I'm 42 years old. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and let's put this in context. I'm only talking about this because you're asking me. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, you don't hear it's me talking. It ain't on your mind. You didn't bring it up. You don't hear me talking yeah. about it. You yeah. don't hear me. Because I'm a grown woman uh-huh. married with two children who has a whole lot of things mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. that I'm not going to sit here and try to speak negatively <clears throat> about a young girl. But <clears throat> I would say you definitely hope you know better, you do better. If you know better, you do better. You know better Layla you Ali. Better. Um, she ain't want those hands. No, nah, don't do that. No, nah, Rich, hold I'm up. Sorry. Clarissa's excellent. She you know, she, she said she said what she's supposed to say as a champion. Yeah. And yes, and yeah. like I said, she needs to focus on <clears throat> the talent because she is a talented get fighter. Get Layla, get the champ some I have, water. I have some oh, coffee. Okay. I know, but right. I she does need to. I would say, and I would say this to any boxer that now she needs to refine her skills because there's you, you know I know she wants to knock her opponents out. She said in her last fight, but she couldn't do it. The girl was in there, wasn't doing anything, was holding on. I don't care. You have to learn how to keep someone from holding you. You uh-huh. got to learn how to keep your distance. You got to learn how to hit them with the right hand when they're coming on the inside. You got to learn how to not just throw three jabs. What's coming behind that? What are you setting up? You know what I'm saying? Especially when you drop somebody with a body shot. I saw the fight. Yeah. So now, I mean, but I, what would I do? Come on. If you, you put me in there, I'm going to finish you, period. 24 wins, 21 knockouts. Exactly. Layla Ali. <laughs> Have you want to ask one last question? I know they got it. Hi, question. Heather. I don't want to go. I'm staying. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to your face because you. you have been so supportive of me. I've been supporting you. I told everybody, go buy your seasonings. Thank you. You haven't even had a chance to talk about that today. That's all right. But yes, her seasonings are incredible. You are just so dope. Just supporting. You, you don't get out here and try to make it so obvious you just you just always in my corner and i just want to say no pun intended just she knows her. that because i'll be liking her recipe yeah. <laughs> she's cooking i'll be like wait a minute how does really know how to do something no yep. thank you you yeah. just you just thank rock you. Thank, thank you, you. Layla. thank you Layla. uh can you come back one time and we could talk about other stuff? Too? Yeah, she has so much really, dope stuff going on. Yeah, I swear. Um, and then honestly, your father was like outside of my grandfather and media people. But he was my first hero. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and and I, and I got some questions from second grade that I want to ask. <laughs> that didn't make the book report. Look, you know how many emails I get from kids wow. with doing their book reports on Muhammad Ali? I can't uh, answer all of them. I mean, this man, you can go, you can Google him. You can, there's videos, there's uh, there's books. I mean, so I can't, but I, I think that's amazing. He was my first book report, too. Right. Was he really? Oh, right, yeah, I was man. lazy. I was like, really? my, I'm Muhammad Ali. I'm doing it on my father. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But, yeah, so I, I think that's amazing. I mean, We've all been, t- that is who I grew up watching. Yeah. Okay. In my household. And what I, what stands out most to be me about my father, what makes him so different than everybody else. He loved himself so much, but that's why he loved other people mm-hmm. as well. And he never tried to step on others. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things people always ask me. They say, what is it that you learn that you take? I said, my father taught me never to step on others to get ahead. And that's a character thing and it's an integrity thing. Mm-hmm. So once I see someone doing that, I can't respect you anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not the way that it is. So he- I never did it. And I don't want to see anyone else do it, and not to me, not to anybody else. And, you know, and it, we, there's a Muhammad Ali in all of us. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know he, what I'm saying? That's what I think. I think he taught us how to love ourselves as well. We need mm-hmm. to remember, yeah. though, because a lot of times we don't. We put each other down. People, mm-hmm. they make it, they get successful, and they want to start showing what they have in a way of, look what I have and you don't have. It makes yeah. me better than you. And it's mm-hmm. a material things, and that has nothing to do with that. And yeah. Until we can get past that, we're not going to get ahead. Mm. Rich, final question. Man. Really quick. Growing up, it's related to food. Growing up, what was that seasoning that you remember that you use now today in your cooking? Well, 
this is a thing. <laughs> I, you grew up with, say, Lowry's. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Right? Everybody had Lowry's, and I have a, a soulful seasoning salt that doesn't have any chemicals, doesn't yeah. have any fillers. Nice. And it has less salt content because, mm-hmm. you you know, a lot of these seasoning salts might be 95% salt, whereas mine is 73% salt. Mm-hmm. It's a seasoning salt. That's the purpose of it. And the way I did my spice blends is I have three right now. I'm coming out with three new flavors. Okay, I got you. I'm going to send them to you. <laughs> but, ha- oh, hey! <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yes, I love that. But um, I did a salt-free, yes. which is a kind of like a replacement for your onion powder, your garlic powder. Real, It's not overpowering, but it has those base seasonings in it. Then I have the spicy pepper blend and the, so- the seasoning salt. So mm. they're meant to use together or separate. Mm-hmm. But people really love the salt-free it's blend. So, good. so I'm going to make some more free salt-free. Is my favorite. Yeah. It's my favorite. Layla Ali, ladies and gentlemen. Homemade okay. Simple nice. Saturdays, 9 a.m. on the OWN Network. You can follow her on yes, social Layla. at The Real Layla Ali. Thank you. Uh, I, like I can't. You. Keep coming. This is your platform. I'll be back. I'll okay, be back. Okay, come back. Uh, it's so many layers uh, we could hit, but we're here to talk about that today. Homemade, simple. Make sure you support it. Layla, thank you for thank coming you. by. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. All right.